Oh, baby, I ate that. Oh, ate it. Mm-hmm. Lunch time, dinner time. <laughs> Why gotta do all that? Listen now, long enough, you can love me. gentlemen and everybody in between I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wigs day where's my water <laughs> clink 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 ain't number back wash in here girl it's girl blame the tummy not my heart okay but y'all let me know what you're drinking down below also let me know how you're doing today I'm just checking in how are you hopefully you're doing well I am doing great because I have a new scalp so this wig on my head is absolutely gorgeous it's fluffy she's red it's giving fall it's giving boots it's giving trench coats it's giving um turkey <laughs> before we go ahead and get into this wig i want to ask y'all a quick question y'all already know what it is i'm not gonna quit begging y'all could you subscribe and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time i post because i'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs and stuff okay now let's go ahead and get into this hair now i want to say thank you to clyde hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video because this wig on my head is absolutely gorgeous girl i'm a whole new girl this wig on my head is a 13 by 4 lace frontal kinky straight wig in the color reddish brown it's 150 percent density it is 24 inches long when you pop the hood on this wig you can see that this wig comes with three combs adjustable straps in the back as well as a piano key elastic band just so you can wear this wig glueless if you're so bold it ain't me girl i'm not bold enough for that the girls are snatching wigs at atlanta and i don't think they stopped i think it's gonna pick up when it gets around christmas time now when i pulled this wig out of the box you can see it comes in the gorgeous kinky straight texture when i pulled it out of the box it looked gorgeous as is but of course i'm me and we had to figure out a way to apply her make the lace blend seamlessly i want you to see this lace I mean, it's like, where's Waldo? Where's the lace? The hairline looks amazing and the hair is such a beautiful, fluffy texture. Look, look at that color. You can wear this wig in so many ways. You can wear it straight, you can wear it curled, you can wear it natural just as it comes out of the box. I'm gonna show you what this wig looks like when she, pulled, when she came straight out of the box. And I'm also gonna show you how I customize this wig and how I get her to look a little bit more like me, like she's made just for me. If you wanna see how I applied this wig and you wanna get more details on this wig, please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with this base. But first I need to take a sip of tea. I haven't had tea in a long time because y'all know I have acid reflux. But this is a prebiotic tea that tastes like coffee. Oh my God, it's so good. You already know my base consists of two things. No gel, no glue, none of that. Just a wig grip and a wig cap, okay? We gonna keep it easy. I've already braided down my hair and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this on back, okay? I put it under my wig cap because this keeps my wig cap on for at least 24 hours. And then it starts to slide off, but I just need this wig cap to stay on while we apply this wig okay oh let's look at this wig oh look how pretty it is now this is this kinky curly texture that red is perfect for fall oof i'm not like a fall fan but i like fall wigs and fall boots but then i'm over i'm over it after like two weeks when we pop her on okay okay that hairline looks plugged. Hold on. Uh, ish. It looks, oh yeah, it is plugged, baby. Oh, this is rich. Oh, girl, this is gorgeous. Look at that movement, too. That hair is moving. Okay, are we gonna plug? What do y'all think? Do, should we plug? I just want, like, just a tad. So we're gonna do a five minute pluck. I guess I'm gonna call her a quickie. <laughs> really, that's really doing a lot, but you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a quick pluck. So I'm gonna take my tweezers. These are Amazon tweezers. I've had these for years. They're amazing. I use them for everything. I don't like to pluck a hairline wet. I like to pluck it dry. And I'm just gonna go in and pluck just like sparingly. I just want it, I don't wanna pluck too much off the front, but I do find that my wigs look better when I pluck them just a little bit. Now these knots are like red. It's the same color as the hair, so I don't think the knots need to be bleached at all because technically they're already bleached. And one thing I've done before is bleach knots on a wig that has already technically been color treated, and baby, it can be a mess. Just pull a little hair out so the hairline looks a little bit more realistic, and then we're gonna get back to tinting the lace because you already know. Y'all already know what I'm about to do next, okay? Somebody 
Okay, y'all, so the hairline is plucked. I don't even know if I did that much. I tried not to over pluck it. That was the goal. Now, y'all know I love lace tint. I'm a lace tint girly. I don't use powder. I don't use any of that type of stuff because it just don't look right on my skin tone. I haven't found a good. Now, the lace tint that I have been using lately and I've been on a hunt for good lace tint is the Dola Hair Lace Tint Mousse. It's in the color medium brown. I got this from Amazon. Let's go ahead and pop this off. So how I like to use lace tint, I like to take my wig and I turn it inside out. Then we add the lace tint mousse on this wig. Now the good, the great thing about this lace tint mousse is that it's a buildable color. A little bit goes a long way and you can build it if the lace isn't deep enough. So I like to take my lace tint mousse and the brush that they provided for us. So this is like a travel, where is this? Hold on. I'm applied to the brush right on top. Ooh, look how cute that is. And then I'm just going to apply it to the lace. Now you can apply it to the lace afterwards, but that's too much work. I'm just gonna apply it to the lace before and just swirl it around. And the color doesn't process until you add heat. So add one more pump, two more pumps. And this, the scent of this stuff smells so good. It's like so bizarre to me. Like why does it smell so good? Is that good for you? Now I also like to turn it inside out and do the other side so the color like really processes in there. Okay, and I'm gonna take my Dyson blow dryer with the diffuser on, on high and warm to set the color and you'll see it process as we sit. You can see it processing now. Okay, so I can look at this color and be like, that's it girl, I, I know this is it, this is a color. Let me see, let's pop this on. Ooh, ooh, that was what I was looking for. Ooh, girl, I done hyped up this hair, didn't I? We'll fix that, girl. <laughs> we'll fix it already. Next, we need to go ahead and flatten the hairline. Now, first, I'm gonna do a pre-flatten. I'm gonna use my Red by Kiss hot comb and just kinda, just gonna try to move this hair backwards a little bit. I like to move the hair away from the face because I feel like it gives a more hairline-ish look. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Ooh. What if we put all wigs this far back? That would be hilarious. Oh my God, I gotta sneeze. <clears throat> now I need to figure out what type of part I want. Y'all know I love an off-center part, but I feel like a middle part today is going to be that girl. And I think I just gave myself a middle part by mistake. Hold on. Because we're doing a middle part, I need to flatten all up in here. Now when I flatten my hairline, I like to use a wax stick. Now this is an Amazon wax stick. This is a She Is Bomb wax stick. I think everybody uses this wax stick. I'm not special, girl. Girl, you can get you some beeswax for all I care. As long as it's on wax, girl. I like to add it to the hairline just so we can flatten this hairline backwards. And I like to get in the part as well just so we can make sure we don't lose this part. So I'm gonna add a little bit of wax in the part area now and i'm going to go ahead and take my hot comb and i'm just gonna flatten it boom and flatten it flatten that down as much as possible baby that's a good flatation on this situation i'm also going to go in the hairline and i'm going to flatten it backwards like y'all see that back and the reason why I pulled the wig back is because girl I'm not burning my forehead for nobody flatten 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 boom y'all see that like it's a difference it's a difference it's a difference you can't act like it's not it's a little bit it's a little bit <laughs> It's a little bit straight across. I may have to pluck that a little bit, but you know what I'm saying, that hairline is hairlining. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side and then I'll be back to cut and apply the lace. The hairline has been flattened, it looks good. Now next we're just gonna go ahead and cut the lace. We're gonna grab some scissors and we're gonna cut the lace. Girl, cutting the lace is very, very simple, it's very easy. I was about to explain it and go nowhere. I had no, I, no idea where I was going with cutting, talking about cutting this lace. Now they provide us with these hair clips, but girl, Clyde, girl, if you, I don't know why, but I want y'all to provide some of that match for the aesthetics of it all. You know what I'm saying? I'll cut over the ear and cut off just like a little bit of extra hair. Yeah. I'll probably cut off too much, but you ain't gonna see it, girl. It's over my ear. Looking at my ear like that. 
If you're looking at my ear like that, I'm calling the police. <laughs> and I'ma call you Mike Tyson. Gruh, stop staring at my ear like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, cut the lace like this and go all the way across the hairline. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on, this, on the other side. Cut the lace. <laughs> So next we're just gonna go ahead and lay down this lace. Now I'm a little bit nervous because this lace right here looks a little bit light, um, but maybe it'll melt down, but this sort of lace is a little bit, it's a little bit harder. It's soft, but it's not, the grids seem closer, smaller, which means it's gonna be more texture to it. Girl, okay, so I have to make sure I place my lace in the right space. <laughs> Kind of right on my hairline, but not really. Right here is perfect, okay? When it's too close, it's a dead giveaway that it's a wig. When it's too far back, girl, you look like you just been stressed out, okay? Don't nobody want, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and use my Even Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. Now, I got this from Amazon as well. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use the spray to apply the wig. Just gonna spray this down. I feel like it's already melting, but the big test is when it dries. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it on there and use my, I'm gonna use my Dyson blow dryer and I'm gonna blow dry it on high and cool. Okay, I like to take the end of a baby hair brush and I like to just press and lay the lace down. Y'all see that? Oh, it actually is blending. I was a little bit nervous, but uh, it's a little bit highlightery on that. Um, hairline, but that's okay. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Pull the hairline down, not too tight, because that's how you get lace wrinkles. And I'm just gonna spray. Okay y'all, so the hairline is laid down. Y'all see my flowers? <laughs> now this side looks better than the other side and I'm not sure why. Maybe I can fix it. Sometimes I'll be doing too much so I probably should leave it alone, but you know me, I can't leave well enough alone. <laughs> I'm gonna take a teeny tiny brush. I did this in my last week review. I take a teeny tiny brush and I take some of that mousse. Just add a little bit to it and hopefully this will help blend a little bit. Just take a little bit and y'all see how that reflection, now if I held my head like this, well, you can still see it, you know when that's bad. So I'm just gonna add some of the mousse on there. Oh, it's better. Okay, okay. I have to be careful not to get it on my forehead, but that is a lot better. I just have to process this color. Try not to do too much, because once it gets too brown, girl, then that's just a, it's hard to turn back from that, but. That's why I love this mousse, is because you can apply it over top of the lace and still get like really good results. And I'm gonna do this side. Now this side is probably already good, but I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> I think that looks good. Like, I feel like that looks good. Now I need to take my blow dryer and see if I can like let it sit for a little bit. That looks so freaking good. I don't think it's perfect, right? The lace is still, well, <laughs> it's pretty darn close, friend. Girl, that ain't too bad. Now, am I going to do baby hairs today? I haven't done baby hairs in a while, but I feel like this hairline will benefit from really, really light, simple baby hairs. Do I have a rat, to rat tail, rat tooth? A rat tail comb? Oh, I don't need a rat tail comb. I got one of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my baby hair brush here. <laughs> the baby hair brush, period. Part out some baby hairs. Now, y'all know, like, I'm not a thick baby hairs girl. I say this all the time. So, how I like my baby hairs, I'm gonna go ahead and take my tweezers because I like really thin baby hairs. I like to tweeze a little bit. Oh, am I pulling the wig up? Hold on. Oh, see? Okay, I'm just gonna release some of these baby hairs here or some of these hairs. I'm gonna cut it like this. 
like so. And then I'm gonna take my got to be glue gel. Now the got to be glue gel that I'm gonna take is, this is from Amazon as well, y'all gonna get sick of me. This is brow and hair gel, but I love how convenient it is. I wish they made the brush a little bit tougher, but if it's for your brows, I guess you can't have nothing scratching at your <laughs> eyebrows like that. I like to use this at first just to get the gel on the hair. And then next, I like to take my baby hair brush and lay it down. I could skip a step, but this is this is the vibe I'm on right now, okay? <laughs> this is, I don't need skip a step. This is the vibe I'm on. I think my lace hit is running too. Like it's in a high speed chase. Why is it doing it? I feel like it look good. See, that's the baby hair to me. I think I need a little bit more gel though, cause that gel is weak. I'm gonna take some of the real got to be glue gel. Now this is the Invincible pack. Go squeeze this out like a tube of toothpaste. Girl, this stuff is so old, it's crazy. I'm just gonna take a tad bit of gel, just a little bit, just a little bit on the tip of the brush. Again, just to make sure she lay down, she don't go nowhere. I don't, I don't got time to be playing with her today. Lay down. There you go. See that? Ooh, girl. That's cute. Not not as cute as I want it to be, but cute enough. So that one's done. We're gonna do the same thing to the rest of the baby hairs. Of course, I like an ear tab baby hair. Only like two, I like four baby hairs on my forehead. That's it. Any more shows up where they have to pay rent. Ooh, now this baby hair is gonna be big, and I know that, so we're gonna pluck her out as well. There we go. Then we're gonna cut, and then we're gonna lay down like that. This baby hair look a little funny, but I mean, it's all right. We're gonna do the same thing to the opposite side. Make sure the baby hairs are laid down, cut them down, tweeze them, all that type of stuff. And then I'll be back. And baby, that'll basically be it. Girl, it's gonna be quick, easy, simple. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> While this hairline is melting, we're gonna go ahead and trim this hair, y'all already know. I'm just gonna trim the bottom and then we're gonna take this off and then we're gonna do the top because I'm picturing layers, fullness, waves, like a moment. So, first detangle, oh girl, it's tangled. Why is it so tangled? It's gonna detangle the hair so we can get a good even cut at the bottom. Now the hair is very, very pretty, but as you can see, it's kind of pre-layered, but you see those thin ends? I don't like it. I'm gonna start with the bottom and just do a trim on the bottom. That's it. Not too much. When I say not too much, the way other people say not too much, I'm not using it the right way. <laughs> Girl, I, all I'm saying is that I don't know what these kids is talking about. I take the hair, pull it together, and then I cut it. And I'm cutting it right here. I think I cut off, ooh, that's a lot. Mm, I didn't mean to do that much, but this is where we are, honey. So for the top though, I'm gonna section this hair away in the layers that I usually do. Okay, I'm just gonna take the hair off the, like right off the top. I'm just gonna comb the hair forward and I'm just gonna trim the ends off. Just trim it right here. Boom. And I'm just going to point cut into the hair so it's not like, how do you say, um, choppy. <laughs> Look, oh, that's gonna go in my tea. Baby, be drinking hair. Keep this section, but part a section back, right? And then cut it again, like that. And I'm just gonna cut it again, all the way across, maybe like another inch. Cut it across. We're gonna point cut. Do it one more time for the bang area. Triangle it out right here. Wait, oh girl, what did I just do? Like that, oh yes, perfect. Okay. And I'm gonna cut it one more time. Oh, about the same amount, that should be fine. 
And, ooh, that's short, girl. <laughs> the chaos begins, friend. And I'm just gonna point cut into it again so it's not so choppy. There we go. Okay, now let's see, huh. I'm not worried about it. You worried about it? I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the hair on the side. Some of this hair right here. Take some of this hair on the side and we're gonna cut this too. Yeah, yeah, I'm cutting it. So I'm gonna start right where that hair ends. I'm using that hair as a guide. Downwards. I know you're supposed to cut hair wet, but girl, I'm not wetting this hair to dry it. That's a lot. I'm gonna take this little section in the front and I'm gonna pull it forward. And I'm gonna cut this too. I don't want it to be too long. Just cut it like that. There we go. Girl, <laughs> this is how the layer is gonna look. Is, is this layer not quite, not quite friend, but close. I think to make this look more gradual and less choppy, I'm gonna take, girl, my camera cut out while I was trying to do this. So I'll do the same thing to the other side, but basically girl, I just layered it. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. And then we get to go ahead and take this up. Uh, Take this headband off because I got it on a little bit too tight. <laughs> Girl, that is choppy. Ooh, child, don't let me near nobody's scissors. Oh, that's better. I feel like it still looks choppy, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like a gradual choppy. When we curl it, y'all be able to see it. But in the meantime, between time, the most important part is looking at this hairline. This is like my favorite part. To be free, oh my God. Then we get to curl and style and do all types of stuff to this hair. Okay, there we go. I was about to say this. Ow, let's cut my fingernail. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh. <gasps> Who's the best? <laughs> Look at this hairline. Oh, girl. Oh, that lace tint is everything. Like, look at this hairline. Oh, girl, we can be done now, but you know me. This ain't enough, but look. Oh, baby, I ate that. Oh, ate it. Mm-hmm, lunchtime, dinner time. <laughs> Why gotta do all that? So, in order to kind of flatten out this hair and get it, just to get it a little bit flatter, I'm gonna use my Vasari round brush brush this is from amazon as well i think i paid i don't know how much i paid for this it was like 30 to 80 bucks how much did i pay for this but this is a vasari hot brush it's kind of like a round brush but not without all the blow drying effect i don't know how to blow dry i don't know how to curl but this is like a round brush without the blow dryer um i'm gonna let this heat up and then we'll be back to flatten it out it's a little while later Ooh, the purple in here oh it's cute oh my bra coming out i want to do a updo so i guess i do one i do a little bun or whatever i've been liking this look like just the way it is like just the way she is but of course we need to style it a little bit i love like the layered look i'm gonna put it up in a bun so y'all can see how this hairline is doing now my hairline wasn't hairlining oh no bun would be made this is when i feel like oh girl yes you the queen <laughs> oh not me pulling the Girl, this lace is hanging on. I know that's right. I'm just gonna do like a loose bun at the top of the head so y'all can see what this hairline is giving. Now the back, <laughs> I ain't even cut that lace off. See, let's wrap this bun around. Ooh, child, this is cute. Y'all like these? Ooh, okay, let's pop this back on. Oh, there you go. There's a bun. Ooh, y'all know I love a nice, messy bun out the back don't even look girl it's combs hanging out straps mm, what do y'all think this is so cute stop looking at it <laughs> look oh we love a good bun oh i love a good bun but yeah this is the bun look now i need to take this down and we need to style this hair but i want to give y'all the full view of the hairline how it's looking that lace tint spray changed my life life changing love it okay now let's go ahead and take this hair down and actually style it let's do something with it baby i could walk around in this bun <laughs> just don't look at the back girl i could walk around in this all day oh girl i almost pulled this wig off my head what is going on okay all right wig is down now we need to get to style it now i like to use my vasari i told y'all about this earlier we're just gonna go ahead and flatten 
this hair a bit. I love the volume in this hair, but it makes it a little bit difficult to curl. These layers are so thick. So in order to make it a little bit easier to work through, I'm gonna try and, you know, just brush it out a little bit. I don't know if this gonna do anything. Baby, this thing's been hot for hours. You better do something. What you good for? I should've cut that lace in the back, but I'm not here for that. <laughs> I never cut the lace in the back. I don't know why. I definitely should. I don't know if this is gonna straighten anything, but I'm just trying to get, get through this. Oh, yes. Did that make a difference? No. I kind of feel like it fluffed it up a little bit. Do you see a difference? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do this to both sides just to flatten it out a little bit and then I'll be back. did anything I just look like I brush this hair out but baby when I tell you it's pretty like since I'm so obsessed <laughs> we can go ahead and curl this hair I'm not the best at curling so I love to use my tool this is the cheese spinning curl it curls your hair without you having to do anything but sit here watch YouTube watch TV that's it it's an automatic curler so you it, I turn it up to 410 degrees and then basically you put your hair in it and then you decide which way you want it to curl forwards or backwards I always do backwards spin it backwards hold it for 19 seconds and at 19 seconds you'll hear a beat and then you start with your next curl very very simple I'm just gonna pull the hair up right and then now typically i would do like a wet set but babe <laughs> i've been filming since it was daylight outside and it is dark so we ain't gonna do a wet set it's gonna take so long to do so i'm just gonna do the regular curls that i always do the only thing about this cheese spinning curl is that you could only put so much hair on that barrel until it gets stuck i hope it doesn't get stuck today because i don't have time but i guess we'll see y'all know what i'm talking about <laughs> y'all will know when she starts hollering at me because she'll holler She's sick of me. Once you start up here, it's just too much hair. So I'll start midway, like right here. Okay, let's try it again. There you go. And if I really want the curl to get hot, I'll wait till the count's down and then I'll hit it again. So it's more like a 30 second hole. Am I burning the hair? Maybe. But am I getting the curl I want? Yes. Oh, y'all see that curl? Let me fluff this out and see what happens. Well, yeah, it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna curl it one more time just to make sure the curl stays. And I'm gonna do this throughout the hair. this is the finished look do y'all see this hair so pretty so gorgeous so bouncy this is almost exactly what i was looking for baby exactly what i was looking for with this look i do wish i would have blow dried this hair to get a little bit more of a less of a fluffy curl but the fluffy curls give but the fluffy curls don't last that long baby i done curl my hair three times come on somebody i'm trying not to move the curls around because girl they're gonna try and fall out fall out it makes you want to put on like a coat not really girl i'm not ready for fall but you see what i'm saying like the way this hairline melted i am in love granted that lace tint put it over the top but the way it melts into the skin it's not showing up girl you cannot see it unless like you can kind of see it right there 
but like that's it. Now I'm gonna go into my pros and cons list real quick. I said all my pros. Maybe the hairline could be plucked a little bit more. Like I feel like it could be plucked just a tad bit more. It's already pre-plucked, but for me, just a little bit more pluckation would be great. This is kinky curly hair. Obviously, I wish that it could hold a curl a little bit longer, but kinky, kinky straight hair does not hold a curl. That's just the name of the game. I don't care what brains you get, girl. I haven't met one, but I absolutely love the hair. I think it's super duper soft. This is a really pleasurable experience. I really enjoyed it today. Y'all tell me what you think down below. How would you have styled this wig? Would you have straightened it, left it as is? Would you have cut it? Because I know y'all get sick of me cutting these wigs. I know you do, but. <laughs> Hopefully y'all enjoyed this wig review. Before we close out this video, I wanna say thank you again to Klai Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I will leave a link for this unit down below. I also will leave a coupon code down below just so you can get some money off because you know you need to get some money off, friend. Y'all know I'm not gonna send y'all out the door without a coupon code, like, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate you. And I'll see you in my next video.